Hey guys, it's Sarah Jane. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to bring you a bookish DIY video. I absolutely love crafty videos and I haven't done a bookish DIY video in a very, very long time. So I've decided to show you guys how to make this lovely bookish ring display. Years ago, I used to make these bookish ring displays. At the time, I don't think anybody else really did them. Maybe a couple of people did, but it wasn't as big as it is now. I was one of the first people to actually make them. It was something that I used to do for friends, for my jewellery displays. I used to love it. and. I haven't made one for a really long time and I was thinking about it the other day, thinking that I wanted to make one again and I thought, why not film it? They are so easy to make, you literally need only three things, so let's jump into the tutorial and I'm going to show you how to make a bookish ring display. So to make this ring display you need only three things. First of all you will need an old hardback book, you will need some ribbon or some lace and you'll also need a glue gun. So the first thing you need to do is remove the dust jacket from the book. I've chosen a battered old copy of Shadow Fever because I found it secondhand and I personally prefer to use a book that I've loved, but you can use any book that you choose. The next thing you need to do is gather a small chunk of the book and carefully roll the pages back with your fingers. If you don't have enough pages your ring display will become squashed and sag and if you use too much it will be impossible to glue, so have a feel around and see what feels right for the size of your book. Now begin squirting your glue along the edge where the pages meet the spine. Do be careful as this glue will be very, very hot. When you've done that, gently roll the pages back up into place and hold for around 30 seconds or so until the glue has cooled. Don't be surprised if when you let go some of the pages fall back. This isn't a problem at all. Just regather the pages and do another layer of glue and repeat the same step and hold until the glue is cooled. If you can't tell, this project uses a lot of glue. Keep adding glue where you feel it needs it. Generally, I like to add some into the roll itself and squash it down with a pencil, and then I like to whack another layer of glue along the back and hold it against the cover to make sure it's really secure. Now you need to make your second roll, ensuring this one is slightly thicker than your first. This step is a little easier as it will tuck in neatly beneath your first roll. I like to avoid pages that show chapter breaks, so I tend to have a little look for a page that will show a character name or a location on the curve of the roll. Because I'm using one of my favourite books, I just think that's a nice little thing to add in. Now you need to repeat these steps until you have your desired amount of page rolls. I generally think four looks best for a large hardback and three for a small hardback, but it is personal preference. Just repeat these steps, roll, glue, tuck in, roll, glue, tuck in, until you have your desired amount of rolls. Now you need to grab your ribbon or lace, either will work, and you need to glue one end to the underneath of your ring display a couple of inches away from the spine. Don't worry about being tidy, this won't be seen, just whack the glue on and then close the book. Now you want to take your ribbon up to the top of the ring display and fold it over the corner, keeping your finger on the ribbon to keep it all very taut. This is really important, if your ribbon is slack, your ring display won't be sturdy, so place some glue on the top of the ring display and then carefully pull your ribbon over the top of the glue and then gently pat it down, keeping it all very tight. Now pull your ribbon across the top of the ring display and do the same process on the opposite side before pulling the ribbon down and then securing it with more glue underneath. This step is a little bit tricky so you may need someone to help you. To help your ring display stay really secure, go a little crazy with the hot glue like I have. Just whack it all underneath, go crazy with it and then just close the book firmly and you're pretty much done. If you reach this point and find that your ribbon is a little slack, don't panic. Squirt some glue at the bottom and press the ribbon into the sides of the ring display to make it taut. I also recommend using gloves or a pencil for this bit because the glue is really hot. And that's it, finished. If you fancy making your ring display a little bit more special, you can always add a charm to the ribbon using two jump rings and a couple of pairs of pliers. So that's how you make a bookish ring display. I have added this little charm which I think does really finish it off and it makes it look a bit more of a statement thing, makes it look a little bit more exciting but I am actually going to take mine off because this is a fever book so I don't really want to blend 
fandoms. If you want to do that there's no reason why you can't but I just really wanted to add this to show you what you could do. You could add a Harry Potter Deathly Hallows charm, you could add a Platform 9 and 3 quarters charm, you could add anything you want really just to make it that little bit special. I do think these make really lovely gifts. If you're someone who's strapped for cash this Christmas, I know, I know it's not Christmas season yet but these are really really cheap to make and I think they make really lovely gifts. They're not that easy to post I will say but if you're looking for something to make somebody and you haven't got a lot of money I do think this is a really lovely gift. Thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it if you decide to make one of these please do tag me in any pictures on Twitter or Instagram my links to my social media are in the description bar down below. Thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!